In this lecture, we'll see a C program to calculate the gross salary of an employee based on years of experience. Also, this program will help us to understand how to use multiple statements inside if and else block. Formula for calculating gross salary is basic salary plus DA plus TA plus HRA. So when years of experience is greater than 3, DA will be 20% of the basic salary, TA will be 10% of the basic salary, and HRA will be 5% of the basic salary. When years of experience is less than or equal to 3, at that time DA will be 10% of the basic salary, TA will be 5% of the basic salary and HRA will be 2.5% of the basic salary. So let's start with the program. We are starting with the hash include preprocessor directive, which is including standard input output header file. Here is a main function with return type void. Inside main function, I'm declaring a few variables. So for calculating years of experience, we will be taking two values from the user. The first value is going to be current year. Second value is going to be year of joining. So for current year, I am declaring an integer variable CY. And for year of joining, the variable is YOJ. Also for experience, the variable is EXP. On the next line, we have taken a few float variables. So BS is for basic salary. And then we have got these three allowances. That is TA, DA, HRA. And finally, we have a variable GS for calculating the gross salary. Here, by making use of printf function, I am telling the user to enter current year and year of joining. By making use of scanf function, I am accepting both the values. So, person D, person D, the first person D will be for current year, second person D will be for year of joining. On the next line, again by using the printf function, I am telling the user to enter the basic salary. Here, by making use of scanf function, I am accepting the basic salary. So, as variable BS is of type float, the format string is going to be percent %f. Then we are calculating the years of experience. So, years of experience will be CY, that is current year, minus year of joining. Here we are printing the years of experience using the printf function. So as exp is an integer variable, we are using person d as a format string, comma exp. As we know that here we have got two conditions. The first condition is when the years of experience is greater than three. The second condition is when the years of experience is either less or equal to three. Here we are making use of if and else blocks. So inside if block, this is the first condition. That is when years of experience is greater than three. There are three set of actions which we need to take here. First one is for calculating DA. Second one is for calculating TA. Third one is for calculating HRA. So obviously inside if block, we will be having three different statements. As we are having more than one statement inside if block, we have to make use of curly braces here. So this is the opening curly brace inside which we will be putting the three statements. And this curly brace will be used for ending the if block. So as we have seen here, when the years of experience is greater than three, DA is going to be 20% of basic salary. So 20% of basic salary can be presented like this. 20 into BS. BS is for basic salary divided by 100. Similarly, TA is 10% of basic salary. And finally, HRA is 5% of basic salary. After completing the if block, the next block will be else block. So inside else block, this second condition will come. That is when years of experience is either less than or equal to 3. As we can see here, for this condition, we have DA, that is 10% of basic salary. So for calculating 10% of basic salary, this will be the formula. Inside parenthesis, we have to provide 10 into basic salary and then divide it by 100. Similarly, TA is 5% of the basic salary. 
So this is how we can calculate the TA and HRA is 2.5% of the basic salary. So this statement will be used for calculating HRA. As this else block is having more than one statement, we have to enclose these statements inside opening and closing parenthesis. On the next line, we're calculating gross salary. So as we've seen before, for gross salary, the formula is basic salary plus DA plus TA plus HRA. So we are adding all these values. Here by making use of printf function, I'm printing the value of DA. For printing this value, we are using percent dot to f format specifier percent f is used for float data type dot to denotes two digits after the decimal point comma da is the name of the variable likewise we are printing the value of ta on the next line we are printing the value of hra and here on the last line we are printing the value of gross salary after completing the program we have to save the program so let's save the program. This program is saved with the name grow salary, that is gross salary. Dot C denotes that is a C program file. After saving it, we can go to execute option and compile the code. So here I'll just maximize this portion and we can see that this program has zero errors, zero warnings. Let's go back to execute and run the code. So first of all, it is asking me to enter the current year and year of joining. Let's say the current year is 2023. Year of joining is 2018. On the next line, it is asking me to enter the basic salary. Let's say the basic salary is 10,000. So based on these provided values, years of experience is five years. Let's try to understand the flow of execution. As year of experience is five years, that is five is greater than three. And because of this reason, the if block will be executed. As per the if block statements, the value of DA is going to be 20% of the basic salary. So 20% of 10,000 will be 2,000. TA is 10%, which will give me 1,000. HRA is 5% which will give 500. So the gross salary is going to be 13,500 rupees. Let me re-execute the code. Again, we'll provide the value of current year and year of joining. Let's say the year of joining is 2022. Basic salary will be 10,000 again. And here it is giving me years of experience. That is one. As we can see here, one is not greater than three. So as the condition is false, it will directly come down to the else part. And as per the else part, the value of DA will be 10% of the basic salary. So 10% 10 of 10,000 will be 1,000. TA will be 5%, which will give me 500. And HRA will be 2.5%. That will give us 250. So the gross salary in this case is going to be 11,750.